Over the past six months, the Assad regime has methodically expanded its control of territory across large swathes of Syria, exploiting so-called de-escalation agreements to regroup and prioritise military operations in one area at a time. Having violated and then conquered de-escalation zones in eastern Ghouta in April, in rural Homs in May, and most recently in the southwest in June, only one more zone remains in the northwestern governorate of Idlib. And the prospect of a regime offensive there looks increasingly inevitable. Between 2.5 and 3.3 million people are currently crammed into Idlib's largely rural area, which combined constitute only 3 to 4% of Syria's entire territory. To the north, Turkey has already taken in 3.5 million Syrian refugees and has firmly shut its border. So a major escalation in hostilities in northwestern Syria would in all likelihood result in a level of violence and destruction that we've just not seen in seven years of conflict. Civilians would suffer immeasurably and in larger numbers than ever before. President Assad has clearly stated his determination to recapture every inch of Syria, and recent events show that he's keeping to his word. The West, meanwhile, appears increasingly disinterested in preventing him from doing so. Russia insists that it's opposed to a resumption of fighting in Idlib, but little evidence actually exists to suggest it has the ability or the will to block Assad from forcing the issue. So, if there was ever a time to back the Russians on something in Syria, this would be it. Ultimately, though, Turkey stands most in the way of a major escalation, having labelled any threat there as a red line. In recent months, the Turkish military has constructed 12 positions inside northwestern Syria, forming a protective circle around opposition-held territories. Ankara has also engaged with a broad swathe of armed groups in the area, seeking to shape them into a more united force that further deters regime action. But how much Turkey can control groups on the more extremist end of the spectrum remains unclear. Together, Turkey may hold sway over as many as 70,000 armed fighters in Idlib and its surrounding areas, but will this be enough to prevent a regime campaign? Only time will tell. Should hostilities resume, the military campaign will be brutal and probably long. Recent estimates suggest that at least 700,000 people could end up on the run. While an eventual regime victory would probably be guaranteed, the scale of death and destruction would feed an already strong extremist narrative for years to come, and we'd be no closer to a really meaningful settlement that truly ends the war.